What is your relationship with your trucking company? Hello, this is Vicki Simons with TruckDriversMoneySavingTips.com. If you have any questions, you may also ask them below or get in touch with us through our website. As you may know, a Special Sunday is dedicated to relationships, and we're going to be talking tonight, I'm going to be talking tonight about uh, your relationship with your trucking company. So uh, let's talk about uh, starting it off with a bang on the golden rule. As you know, the golden rule is do unto others as you would have others do unto you. And one of the best ways to be able to do that is make sure that you keep the channels of communication open with those in your trucking company who uh, are in charge of your dispatches, your driver manager, uh, various things having to do with your employment there. Your trucking company hired you to do a job and that job is more than just getting behind the wheel of a truck and getting it down the road. Okay, your dispatches are going to be coming to you through certain people. There's going to be a certain amount of work that's uh, back there, and they would appreciate it if you would uh, keep that uh, that flow of communication open to whomever uh, is necessary. All right, you want to run safe and legal with your hours of service, obviously, and work with the people inside your company. Okay, don't always be uh, trying to pick a fight or uh, be grumbly about, well, I didn't get enough miles this week, or, you know, if you're not getting miles uh, every week, then you really need to speak up and let them know that you desire to have uh, more miles, better runs, runs in a different area. Okay, Mike ran into this with one of the companies that he was with, and it was a case where if he had stayed with this company, he was probably going to be requesting a change into a different fleet in order to get the kinds of runs that he heard that were available through that fleet. Okay, so that means learning who arranges your loads and express your desire openly. Okay, for example, if you're getting little short hoppy runs as a regional or a long distance, that is, for example, a coast to coast driver, uh, a long haul driver, then uh, then you might want to say, hey, look, I want longer runs uh, with more miles and less little hoppy runs. Uh, the little short things. However, I will encourage you to remember that sometimes a short run can lead to a long run. Okay, you'll want to vent your frustration constructively, okay, and not just uh, try to blow off steam or have demand your own way all the time. Be careful about what you post on social media, okay. While you may agree that it is okay to express your opinion about certain things, be aware that uh, you may not always be with the trucking company that you're with now. And if your future trucking company goes online and says, well, they badmouthed uh, their former trucking company so badly, we don't want them working for us, uh, even though it might be a better job with a better uh, pay grade, all kinds of things, they just... Uh, they can refuse to hire you based upon your negative attitude as expressed on social media. And uh, we also want to make sure that you represent your trucking company well. Okay, they have hired you, like I said, to do that job. So you are the, you are the face okay that the customer sees okay they don't see the dispatcher inside the office they don't see your fleet manager or your driver manager out there they see you as the trucker who's coming in to arrange to pick up and deliver loads so represent them well my husband Mike and I uh, drove together for almost three years and then he has another 13 years of professional driving under his belt and so we understand what it is that uh, is required for professional drivers. We also have over 1,400 pages on our website dedicated to helping you uh, save time and money on, uh, on the road. All right, yes, be careful what you post. Represent your company well. Okay, um, how is all of this going to help you save time and money? By communicating well with people, you can get more of what you want and less of what you don't want to a certain extent. For example, if you're the kind of person that wants to drive 15 or 16 hours a day, you're not going to get it. Okay, the hours of service are clearly written, and from time to time, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration unfortunately changes those hours of service, so you need to, to uh, bear with it. There are also some technological 
uh, shall we say, restrictions or limitations that some trucking companies want to place upon their drivers. If you are in a truck that requires you to use an electronic logging device, there's not much you can do to get out from underneath that. Okay, if your trucking company uh, forbids the use of a portable toilet or a battery-connected inverter, simply look for a trucking company that will allow you to do that, or just don't grumble about it. That's free to ask your question or comment after this broadcast is over, or contact us through truckdriversmoneysavingtips.com, and we'll be glad to get back in touch with you. And uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. This has been maybe a little bit longer than I planned on, but I hope you've gotten some good value out of this. All right. Um, my husband and I wish you, as always, safe travels and lots of money-saving opportunities on the road. Please feel free to join us tomorrow night. We look forward to it. Thanks. Have a good night.